How's it going, everybody? Sean here. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Allie. We got Allie in today. She's in for the holidays, visiting some family. She decided to drop by and is going to help us out with uh, a review of a, a few different fragrances. None of these I think you've smelled before. No. You guys can't see them. They're, they're down off camera, but... This is going to be an un with that <laughs> this is going to be an unbiased review. I don't think she's had her nose on any of these, at least by the look of the bottle. These are popular winter fragrances. This list is the most complimented uh, winter fragrances. So these are all going to have that sweet warmth that does really well in the cold weather. She's going to get her nose on all six. We're going to get her rating and a one to ten on these guys, and we're going to find out our winner. So stick around for number one. All right, guys, so we are back with our first fragrance. She is going to give us a quick sniff here, and I'm going to show you guys what we're working with today. Ooh. This is Yves Saint Laurent. I'm sure you've heard of YSL. Yeah. Uh, they make purses, they make shoes, they make cosmetics. This is a men's fragrance by Yves Saint Laurent. It's very, very popular. This is called La Nuit de L'Homme. That's very nice. <laughs> this translates from French to Night of the Man, so this is very masculine, very good for date nights, very good for clubbing, going out. It's a huge compliment getter. What do you mm -hmm. think of this one? That also that almost smells like a really good like um everyday. But okay, like a, yeah, yeah. very prominent everyday. For a sweet fragrance, for one that's so kind of like sexy. It smells like Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom. Interesting. I've never smelled that one. I'll have to compare. It smells exactly. Like it's funny that you'd mention it's a good everyday because even though this one is kind of like sexy and warm and sweet like it's it is easy to wear everyday. It's not so yeah, overbearing. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Every yeah, day. this so. is a great everyday. This was my everyday wear for a long time. So La Nuit de Lome clearly likes this one. Mm -hmm. um, what do you give this one a nine? Okay, yeah. so we're starting off strong uh, with a nine. This has got cardamom. This has got vanilla. Warm, sweet, sexy. I think it's the cardamom. Cardamom, yeah. If you do you like chai tea. I like the smell of it. Starbucks buys up a lot of cardamom, which is actually causing prices of I used to work at Starbucks. fragrances with cardamom to go <laughs> That's up. That's why I like it. Um, La Nuit de Lome, guys, wonderful, wonderful fragrance for the winter time, for the night time. It's going to get you a lot of compliments. That is a number mm -hmm. nine. We're starting off strong. We're going to go right into number two. All right, guys. So we just left off with La Nuit, uh, La Nuit de Lome by Yves Saint Laurent. We are on to our number two fragrance. Give that one a smell. This is also not going to come as a surprise to anybody. This is uh, by Mason Margilia. This is Replica, and it's called By the Fireplace. Replica is a so, line that, that it, they attempt to recreate moments in time. This one, By the Fireplace, is literally supposed to smell like woody, burning, chestnut, they sweet. They accomplished that, but to me it yeah. almost smells like a room spray rather than a cologne. So you don't know if you'd like this on a person. You think you'd, you'd rather smell this in, yeah. the, in the air. Yeah, so I think that if it was like in a room, like a candle burning or something, it would be very pleasant. Like it's a pleasant scent, but I just don't know about it as a cologne. Okay, so, so like this if is. If I wore it on a date, I might be like, "You smell like a cabin." How your bedroom or how your living room should smell. Yeah. Okay, but you do like it. You, en you enjoy yeah. this one. So like as a cologne, I think I'd rate it like a seven. Like a seven. Okay, this yeah. like envelops the sense of winter. This gives you that warmth. Yes. It's got chestnut is the most prominent note, so that almost. The, when you smell chestnut, you think of like a fire burning. Mm -hmm. um, wood, vanilla, leather, ch uh, chestnut. This thing is just all about winter, all about by the fireplace. So 7 out of 10 uh, for Replica. So we've already got one that's a lot better than it. But guys, if you are looking for a snuggle up scent, uh, Replica by the fireplace is absolutely oh, fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are moving on to number three. All right, guys, we're moving on to the third fragrance. We have six in total. These are in no particular order as we go through them. This is literally how I laid them out on the table. Um, we'll get her end result at the end of the video, but for right now, these are not in any particular order. So for our number three mm. spot, That's okay, nice. I can tell she likes this one right away. This <laughs> is Halloween Man, the original. What do you think of this one? I like it a lot. Okay. The reason I say the original is this has a lot of flankers. This has a lot of ones that were spawned from the original. So obviously this is Halloween Man. You have Halloween Man Shot. You have Halloween Man X. You have Halloween Man Tattoo. There's even a couple of more that I can't think of off the top of my head, but this is the original. I like it. I think that if my boyfriend wore this all the time, that'd be like, I would not be mad. I got it. This is a well-known <laughs> compliment getter. Well yeah, this is a this is like uh, if you ask a lot of people yeah, into fragrances, this is known to pull lots of compliments. So maybe some of these others you'll smell very good, but if you want to get noticed, this is a loud, strong, pronounced get me notice scent. That's a for uh, sure nine. Another so. nine. Okay, Halloween Man. Some people refer to this as a clone of Paco Rabanne 1 million. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen that fragrance, it looks like a gold bar. Um, it was like the Ed Hardy of the fragrance world. Like from like 2010 okay. to 2015, it was everywhere. 
its own success was kind of like its <coughs> downfall. People can't see it now and be like, oh my God, one million. So it's funny that this still gets so many compliments because it's similar. But Halloween Man, this it's is... It's just nice. I, it might be a classic set. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Nice. Uh, this is unbelievably cheap, too, guys. You can pick up a bottle of Halloween Man for between 23 and $26 from Discount Which House. honestly makes it more worth it for me because like, yeah. I'm for sure This a is a great gift. Shopper. It's a great so, gift. So, like, if you have to spend $200 on a bottle of cologne that's, like, okay, whereas you can get one for, like, $25, that's, like... Absolutely. Awesome. Like, All of the flankers are around that okay, same price so. point. Yeah, so this is one of Allie's favorites. Halloween Man, the original, guys. Uh, discounters, this is super cheap. Pick this one up, and we're moving on to number four. All right, guys, we're rolling in with the fourth fragrance. Spray it off camera here. I actually just picked this bottle up for the holiday, so this is a brand Ooh. new bottle. I thought this one would catch your attention. Okay, what do you think of this one? <laughs> I like this. We are rocking with, gosh, the light is crazy off this bottle. Uh, we, this is oh, Paco Rabanne 1 million, Lucky. This okay. is a flanker from the original 1 million. Uh, this is what a lot of people will refer this to. They That's refer that nice. to the original. This it is 1 million like Lucky. more crisp okay. than the Halloween. -y. Do you have a, a wager for a guess of what the top note for this fragrance is? It's a very, very prominent thing that hits you right away. I had actually for dinner and I Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, hazelnut is the top note of this. So people who like hazelnut coffee, they like Nutella, hazelnut I don't dessert. Get hazelnut. Really? Maybe it's just like It's a very clean sweet. So when you say more crisp, mm -hmm. that's probably what's yeah, giving you that. It's a sweet, but mm -hmm. some are so some are But it's like I don't know. Like yeah. Really have you ever heard of the phrase really nice. uh, have you ever heard of the word gourmand? No. Gourmand almost means like edible. So some fragrances are a gourmand where like it's so good it and so like sweet, it. you want to eat it. And this, so some sweets are too sweet like that because you want to eat them. Um, while this is more sweet with that clean, crisp, yeah. with the hazelnut. So this is a lady killer. I've had lots and lots of women try this against other warm, winter, sexy fragrances. And I, this has gotten picked tons and tons yeah, of times. I like that one. And this is found pretty affordably. Uh, you can get this from discounters for between like $60 and $75. It's relatively new. Uh, there are two flankers to the One Million line. You have your original One Million. You have Lucky, which is this, mm -hmm. and you have Privé, which is not one of my favorites and it doesn't fit the bill for this list, but One Million Lucky does. Wintertime, sexy, sweet, hazelnut, yeah, I really wonderful. Like that one. Um, what is your rating for this one, one to 10? Up there with a nine. Up there with a nine. Okay, so we're gonna revisit yeah. all of your nines at the end and we'll smell yeah. the dry downs so we can have a nice fair comparison and we'll get yeah. your last rating. But starting off uh, number four again with a nine, guys, we're on to number five. All right, guys, the number five spot. We are going to move right along and I will show you it while she gets her nose on it. This is Stronger With You by Emperor Armani. This is going to be a little bit similar to the first one, La Nuit. Okay, so this smells like something my grandma wore, I think. Interesting, okay. This has cardamom and vanilla, which is gonna give you so that bold sweetness too. That maybe it's the vanilla. Okay. Maybe it's the combination of the two, but not your favorite. Reason, I don't like it as a okay. nice cologne. So it's not so much that it doesn't <laughs> smell good, it, it brings weird memories back maybe. No, it smells good. It's just, I think that everyone's experience with scents are different because memories are so highly coordinated with scent. Mm -hmm. I need to get my hands on the intense version. This is Stronger With You. They have a Stronger With You intense. intense. <laughs> um, and, and some people say that it's better than the original <laughs> formulation and they like it better. Mm -hmm. um, so if I ever get my hands on it, I'll have it compare. To okay. me, this is the most boring of all the six fragrances we have here. But it's so also, it, I think it's the safest. So I like yeah. this because it's very easy to wear, it's safe, it's gonna appeal to almost everybody. Some of these others, especially things like By the Fireplace with that smoky yeah, chestnut, skin. it's bold. They're a little bit more, you gotta know, yeah. you have to have some, some confidence and, and know how to wear them. Mm -hmm. uh, Emperor Armani though, guys, it's safe, it's sweet, it's great for winter, uh, stronger with you, it's, it is a great choice. Not particularly Allie's favorite. I was gonna say, Do you have a number for this one? That it's like us. Five or a five a six. or a six. Okay. Just because to me it smells like old person. Okay. I don't know if it's because like someone older in my life has worn it. Sure. Or something similar. But that might be something that like maybe other women would feel the same about it. So okay. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Emperor Personally, Armani. I tread carefully. We're looking at about a five point five for Emperor Armani. Stronger with you. Uh, and we're gonna move on to our last one and rally up all the votes and see who our winner is. All right, guys. Our six spot is changing gears a little bit. It still fits really well for the winter time, but it doesn't follow exactly the same formula as these others do. This is Prada Lhomme Intense. I have Prada Lhomme as well, the original formulation. It is not a winter fragrance. It is a office, fresh, clean, soapy fragrance. The Intense version takes the this original DNA. Like soap, 
Yeah, the, it still keeps the soapy does, feel, but the intense really version, clean. yeah, it gives it it gives it a leather note. Mm -hmm. It gives it a spicy pepper note as well, and makes it a little yeah. bit more appropriate for the winter. Yeah, but does still keep the very Definitely clean very DNA. Appropriate, but I think it falls at like an eight because I think it's pretty like it's nice, but it's kind of average. Okay. Compared to the other ones. Okay. So like I don't. Think so it doesn't stand out, but it's very nice. Yeah, it kind of stands out. It stands out compared to the other two that I sure. don't like as much. Um, but not as much as my top three. Okay. So Prada Loam Intense. <laughs> Guys, I, I personally prefer Prada Loam to the Prada Loam Intense. Um, the reason I chose it for this video is it, it, I think it fits better More in, in this particular season. We are in the middle of winter 2019. Mm -hmm. This is the end of December. Uh, so this would be something I'd reach for more in the winter time. Mm -hmm. It's still fantastic. And a lot of the times the intense version improves on the regular version. In my case, I, I still that, yeah. prefer the original. Prada okay. Loam, guys, I've reviewed it in like three other videos. It'll be my favorite for a long time. It's great for the office. It's great for like family situations. Bre yeah, breakfast yeah. with the in-laws and you just want to smell nice. You don't want to smell sexy or seductive. And I you just see that. It's, it's yeah. safe for that. Prada Loam Intense, reach for this one in the winter, guys. It's a little bit more strong, a little bit more bold, masculine. Um, and it gets an eight from Allie. So even though it's not her favorite, it's, it's, still uh, really it's still really nice. So that actually wraps up our list. We have all six. We are going to remove anything that scored, I guess, lower than a nine because we've got three nines. Yeah. Bring back Those all the nines. Three, yeah. We're going to smell the dry down and Allie is going to give us her winner. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So we had uh, three of the six actually receive the nine. So not to toot my own mm -hmm. horn, but I think we put together a really nice list for you. Yeah, it was a great selection. So we went ahead and removed the three that did not score as high. We have got In Order, La Nuit de L'Homme at a nine by Yves Saint Laurent. We have got Original Halloween Man. And we have got, gosh, let's hope I don't blind everybody again. <laughs> One Million Lucky. Uh, this is the flanker to the original Paco Rabanne, One Million. So we have the dry downs here. These have had about a five minute rest. So the opening note can, can change uh, from, or the dry down can change a lot from the opening note. So I'm excited to see if these keep their numbers or if they drift up or down a little bit. So La Nuit yeah. de Lome, this Am is I the dry down. My yeah, radiant. so they're gonna smell similar, of course, to the opening, but they, they develop and change oh, a little. So really nice. Yeah, La Nuit de Lome is always gonna be a winner. Right okay, cool. So this is Halloween, man. This is Halloween, man. I don't like that one as much. As now. much anymore? Like, I like the okay, the dry down's a little better. nicer, yeah. Oh, and I like that one anymore. Okay, so One Million Lucky is my favorite. <laughs> All right, guys. One Million Lucky is today's winner. This has gotten a and lot of YSL hype. And then yeah. Men. So, number one is going to be uh, One Million Lucky. Guys, this is like sexiness in a bottle. It is seductive. It is it's sweet. Really nice. It is really nice for the wintertime. Honestly. I would say it's worth the higher price. Yeah. The only time I wouldn't recommend this fragrance is, is in the summer. And the really hot, if it's a 90 plus I mean, degree day, it's not going to be as good. But even in spring and I fall, this will be okay. That'd be nice all the time. Like, yeah. it doesn't smell winter. Exclusive. Of all these fragrances, even though this is in the winter list, this is pretty versatile. You can wear this yeah. a lot. You can wear that to anything, like special event, every day. Yeah. So this would be winter, a good pickup like, honestly, I for your money. Anytime. If you grab yeah. by the fireplace and put it's this like, on in a 96 degree June day, you're going to gas everybody around you. This does not work in the high heat, while One Million Lucky is very I mean, versatile. I it's 100 milliliters, too, yeah. so if that's only like $100, that's like a lot of liquid. Oh, this is much less than $100. You can pick this up from most discounters for about $70. Um, that's not bad. That's yeah. definitely worth your money, because that will last you a while. Absolutely. Too. So, Allie, you can go ahead and hold that one. This is her obvious winner today, is One Million Lucky. Guys, La Nuit de Lome is a personal favorite of okay. mine. This is uh, <laughs> not something you're going to regret picking up. La Nuit de Lome. We'll get people stopping and asking you, oh my God, you smell gorgeous. You smell fantastic. What is that you're wearing? Uh, it's great. Halloween man, I still <laughs> don't think there's a better value in this list than Halloween man. Yeah, it's a great um, value. $23 for, value. for a full-size bottle is fantastic. it's not a cheap cologne that stinks. Like, Absolutely. it's a cheap cologne that actually smells good. Absolutely. And this is going to get you fantastic compliments. But for the winner today, one million lucky, 100%. guys. This is a great <laughs> fragrance. Allie. Thank you so much for yes, swimming by thank today. You for having me. We have her home today for the holidays, or actually like the, the week for the holidays, yeah, but they're over, so. so she will be headed back west soon. Um, yeah. uh, I appreciate you swinging by while you were here. Our yes. lovely guest, Allie, thank you for coming by. Yes. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure that you drop a follow and a subscription. Uh, that way you can follow along with all the other content that we have posted. 2019 is ending, but there's a ton more stuff uh, planned for. Uh, January and onward through the year of 2020 and drop that subscribe uh, if you guys like what you see hit that bell icon so everybody can be notified whenever I post uh, and you're watching Sense by Sean thanks for dropping by guys pick up a bottle of this peace